वेलकम टू एजूर टीच डॉट नेट वे आर गोइंग टू डेवलप एन एंगलर एप दट कंज्यूम्स ए वेब ए पी आई विच रिटर्न दिस एम्प्लॉय टेबल रिकॉर्ड एज ए सी एस पी फाइल ऑन क्लिक ऑफ द डाउनलोड बटन इन साइड और एंगलर पेज इट विल डाउनलोड द सी एस पी फाइल वी आर गोइंग टू रीड दिस फाइल नेम ऑल्सो फ्रॉम द ए पी आई इट सेल्फ स्टे ट्यून्ड Here I have created a brand new Angular project, and here is its output. I am going to app component dot html, and here I am removing the default code. I want to keep this demo simple, so here I am making minimal changes. Button on click of this, I want to download the file, so I am writing download file method over here, and here I am giving the text as download file, and we have to write this method inside the component. So I am going to the component, and here I am writing public download file, and it will return void. And after that, inside this method, we have to call the service, and the service should download the file. So I am duplicating this terminal, and here I am generating the service ng. G service download file. Pressing on enter, it generated the service, and I'm going into app module dot ts, and here inside the providers we have to add the provider, so that is download file service. As we are going to make HTTP calls, we have to import. HTTP client module as well. So here I'm writing import HTTP client module, and it is inside at the rate Angular slash common slash HTTP, and we have to import that. So here I'm writing HTTP client module. Now inside our download file service, here. we are injecting private http client http client our api is running here and we are going to call this get method to download the file so i am copying this url and here i am going to the visual studio code and here i am writing download file and here i'm using http client dot get and here we have to pass the url and the action that we are going to call is this action so i am copying this and here i'm pasting it and now we have to add the response type over here and also the observe so here i'm writing observe we have to observe the response why we are observing the response because we are going to get the file name from the api and we are going to use the same file name to download the file and here we have to write response type and we are going to read blob we have to make this method as public and also we have to write return statement over here app component dot es here we have to add the constructor and inside this i'm writing private download file service and here it is download file service open and close curly braces and here we have to use the download file service to download the file so download file it will return an observable so here i'm writing subscribe and here it will return the response and after that here we have to get the file name so let file name is equal to we can get the file name from the headers of the response so here if you go to the swagger we have content disposition header and inside this we have the file name so we can read this header and split it by the semicolon and in the first part again if we split this particular string by equal to we can get the file name so here i'm writing response dot headers dot get and inside this we have to pass the content disposition so here i'm copying this 
and pasting it over here and we have to split this by semicolon and in the first part we'll get the file name and after that we have to split it by equal to and in the first part we'll get the file name and now we have to read the response body as blob so here i'm writing let blob that's the content of the csv is equal to response dot body as blob and here we have to create a hyperlink on click of that we can download this blob content as a file so here i'm writing let a is equal to document dot create element and here we are creating the hyperlink and after that here a dot download is equal to file name and here we have to pass the href so a dot href is equal to window dot url dot create object and to this we have to pass the blob and after that we have to click the hyperlink that's it now if you go to the browser and open developer tools click on download file it will fail with the course issue because the api is running on a different port and the angular app is running on a different port we have to enable any origin on the web api so i am going to the visual studio and stopping it here i am inside startup.cs class and we have to enable the course over here app.use course builder builder dot allow any header dot allow any method dot allow any origin and we have to remember this with exposed headers and as we are reading the file name from the content disposition we have to use this with exposed headers method and we have to pass the content disposition over here and i'm running the solution now now if we go to the angular app and click on download file it will download the file let us open the file to see the content from our web api we are returning this data which is there inside sql server and the same is loaded inside the csv file that's all in this video if you feel this video is helpful to you please like this video and also subscribe to azureteach.net channel for more videos on azure and .net thank you